Welcome to Movie Rehash. Today, I'm going to explain an action, adventure movie released in 2023, called, Fast X. Spoiler ahead, watch out and enjoy. The movie starts 10 years before in Rio de Janeiro. A bad guy named, Hernan Reyes and his mean son Dante Reyes are waiting for Dom and his team to come after them. They're planning a robbery in Brazil, and Dom arrives and steals the treasury box. Dante chases them in the city. They reach a bridge, where Dom stays to make sure Reyes gets in trouble, and Dante falls off the bridge into the water. Right now, in Los Angeles, Dom is teaching little Brian how to drive. Later, they go home for a barbecue and Abuelita Toretto is there too. The whole family is together, including Letty, Mia, Tej, Roman, Ramsey, and Han. Abuelita says some words, and then they all have food. They talk about a heist that's supposed to happen in Rome, which little nobody is said to have arranged. During the night, Dom talks to Letty about how little Brian acts tough but is actually scared of losing family. Suddenly, Cypher, looking hurt, arrives at their house. Dom and Letty protect little Brian and confront Cypher, their enemy. Cypher says that they have a bigger problem coming their way in the form of Dante. He broke into her place, captured her henchmen's loved ones, and is making them turn against her. He wants to get to Dom. He leaves after taking her hacking tech, he leaves her henchmen behind to harm her. Cypher fights them and escapes by going down an elevator shaft with one of the bad guys before reaching the Toretto home. Dom and Letty talk to little nobody. He calls his agents, who quickly come and take Cypher into custody. They find out that the Rome heist was planned by Dante. So, they head to Rome. Tej, Roman, Ramsey, and Han are on the streets moving their cargo, which turns out to be a huge bomb. Dante hacks into their trucks, making them swerve into traffic. He wants to take the bomb to the Vatican. Dom, Letty, and Little Nobody stop the rest of the gang and take them underground. Dante tries to blow them all up. The bomb starts rolling down the hills and streets. Letty chases Dante, but he escapes and she's arrested. Dom catches up to the bomb. He uses a crane to push it away from the Vatican. But when it explodes, it causes a lot of damage. The gang is called, terrorists and they hide. Dante brags to Dom about breaking his family apart. At the agency HQ, the new director, Ames, talks with Tess, who is Mr. Nobody's daughter. Ames has been following the Toretto gang's journey from street racing to big heists around the world. Ames thinks that nobody was too lenient with them. Tess argues that the gang has actually taken down some very dangerous criminals. Despite her defense, Ames convinces the agency's board to take action against them. Afterwards, the media calls the gang international terrorists. As a result, Roman brings Tej, Ramsey, and Han to London. Mia is looking after little Brian when a group of agency mercenaries suddenly come in. Mia tries to protect them while little Brian hides. But then Jacob, who was called by Dom, arrives just in time. He throws one of the bad guys through the floor and fights off the others. Jacob tells Mia to find a safe place with Brian and the children. He takes little Brian with him to return him safely to Dom. Tess locates Dom in Brazil and explains to him who Dante is. This helps Dom understand why Dante is his target. Dom also asks for assistance to prove their innocence and to rescue Letty, who is held at a hidden agency facility. After this, Tess goes to meet with Letty and together they devise a plan. The plan involves making it seem like Letty is fighting Tess so that Letty can be transferred from the current base to another location. Dom heads to a street racing event to meet Diogo, along with a young woman named, Isabel, whom Dom is acquainted with. Dante appears and challenges a street race with Dom, Diogo, and Isabel. In the course of the race, Dante presents Dom with a distressing choice. Dom must decide who lives and who dies between Diogo and Isabel, as bombs are rigged under their cars. To protect Isabel, Dom slows her down, causing Dante to detonate the bomb under Diogo's car. Even though Isabel crashes due to Dom's actions, he manages to remove the bomb from her car, preventing her from being harmed. While Dom rescues Isabel from the wreckage, Dante manages to escape. The other four friends meet Ramsey's old hacking pal named, Bowie. Ramsey retrieves a file and discovers that her surveillance system, God's Eye, is being misused by Dante to go after people close to Dom. Dante takes their money, but Roman has some hidden funds. The group must locate Deckard Shaw. They find him in London and Shaw mistakenly thinks Han is there to fight him due to their past, but their clash gets interrupted by more agency thugs arriving. Shaw defeats them and learns from Ramsey that his mother Magdalene is among the potential targets. He leaves to safeguard his family. The rest of the team finds a means of transportation to ensure their safety. Letty awakens in an agency building with Cypher. She uses her hacking skills to release gas that incapacitates the guards and helps them escape. During their getaway, Letty starts a fight, resulting in them exchanging punches and kicks and using equipment to strike each other. After regaining their composure, Letty tries to leave without Cypher. However, she discovers that the facility is located in Antarctica. Jacob connects with little Brian and acts like his companion to appear inconspicuous. They get on a plane, and a flight attendant who happens to be Jakob's friend warns him about three of Dante's henchmen on board. 
Jacob subdues them and asks the woman to conceal their bodies, after which he and little Brian enter a hidden jet headed for Brazil. Isabel wakes up in Dom's apartment, which he used to share with Elena, who is revealed to be Isabel's older sister. She expresses her feelings of always being overshadowed by Elena and wonders if the wrong sister died. Dom reassures her that this isn't the case. With Isabel's assistance, they discover Elena's old records on Dante and locate a property linked to him, connected to an abandoned police station. Dom goes to the station and discovers many videos and recordings of him and his family from the past. Dante calls and mocks Dom, mentioning he wants to make Dom suffer before killing him, as his father taught him. He looks outside the window at Isabel, just as Ames arrives to apprehend Dom. Dom is being moved across the same bridge where the heist happened before. However, the convoy carrying him is attacked by Dante's explosive. A confrontation happens on the bridge as Tess and Ames attempt to confront Dante and his group. Unfortunately, Dante has a sniper ready and shoots Tess and Ames, rendering them unable to continue. The sniper then targets Isabel, who Dante has captured. Dom quickly moves Isabel to safety while Dante seizes God's eye from Tess. He hints to Dom that he can now locate his son and escapes. Isabel helps Tess to safety, while Dom races to locate little Brian with assistance from Ames. Dante manages to locate Jacob and little Brian, but Jacob is ready with a vehicle armed with a powerful cannon that eliminates Dante's henchmen. Little Brian tries to assist by climbing out of the back of the vehicle, unintentionally giving Dante an opportunity to grab him. Jacob informs Dom before he can reach his brother. Dom's car is dropped from a jet, and two of Dante's sniper helicopters shoot harpoons at his car. However, Dom steers his car off the bridge, causing the helicopters to collide and explode. Jacob then provides Dom an opening to escape by sacrificing himself. He flips his car, which is loaded with bombs, onto the approaching henchman, sacrificing himself in a tragic yet heroic way. Dom reaches Dante's car and manages to transfer little Brian into his own vehicle. Dante then directs two oil tankers towards Dom and little Brian, with the intention of crashing them over a dam. A plane carrying the rest of Dom's team is hit by a missile. Surprisingly, the one who ordered the missile is Ames, who has been working with Dante since the Rio heist. Dom helplessly witnesses his friend's plane crashing into a mountain. Dante claims that Dom has endured enough suffering and now it's time for him to die. He sets up the dam to explode within moments, and Dom can only gaze at his son with fear. Dom then decides to drive the car down the dam to escape, and as the tankers collide, they explode, leading Dom to hit the nitro to outrun the resulting fire, just when it seems Dom and little Brian are out of danger. In Antarctica, Letty and Cypher exit the facility and witness a massive submarine emerging from the ice, with Giselle at the helm. Letty is taken aback by the sight, while Cypher seems to have anticipated this development from the start. During the credits, a group of police officers gather at a deserted Dante facility. One of the officers picks up a ringing phone and listens as Dante's voice reveals him as the next person to be hunted. It turns out the man on the phone is Luke Hobbs, and he identifies himself as the one who executed Dante's father on the critical day. Hobbs coolly responds to Dante, saying, I'm not difficult to locate. You bastard. Before crushing the phone to pieces. In this way, movie ends here.